Hey, hey, School Zone podcast listeners, Matt coming at you from sunny Stephenville, Texas. It is a beautiful October day here in EIEIO, and we've got a really cool company that I'm excited to share with you today. Uh, Don Norby of Custom Card Promotions out of the Carlsbad, California area. Don, thanks for joining us in the School Zone. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you getting me on. Thank you. So give us a little background on you and how it is that on this fine October day, you find yourself sharing a fundraising company with our audience. Well, I started doing fundraising out of a necessity for my son, and we've grown a business and raised over $11 million for schools and sports teams since uh, 2003. Want to make sure I get everybody that's out there at schools or anybody that needs the funds to get the funds they need and to exceed their goals. So share a little bit more about the story. Uh, <laughs> the you story. can't just you can't just gloss <laughs> over and say, "Oh, out of necessity." Okay. We, we want to hear some of the dirt. We want to hear some of the history. Okay. Uh, my son was on a travel baseball team, and they were pretty darn good. They qualified for the World Series, but none of us parents could afford it. We just didn't have the extra money sitting around to take everybody there. The team got together, they decided a fundraiser, and they said, Dawn, figure it out, you're the creative one. And I went through and did my research and figured, we're all cheap, we like discounts, we're, something we'll use, so maybe something other people will use. So we ended up doing um, a credit card discount card. It's got a picture of the entire team on the front and all the discounts to local places and vendors on the back. We ended up raising $35,000 for our baseball team in less than three weeks. We were able to have every single family member join us at the World Series for free, and the boys placed second. So how did you go from necessity getting uh, your son and, and his team to the, to the World Series to turning this into a business that now you've been, you know, serving schools for uh, what 14 plus years Correct. raised 11 million dollars for those schools in that time uh, what happened was one of the children on our team their mom was the PTO president and she said I want to do this for the school we're not going to have the typical fundraiser we want to do something that maybe everybody will use and uh, reuse every day up to a year and have our logo in their wallet. So that's how it was started with the schools. I initially started with sports teams because we know travel teams are very expensive and parents don't have it. And it was just commonality to go, well, schools have less money than sport teams and we need to get the schools funded and do something that is beneficial for everybody just the pocketbooks. Uh, basically, you're helping every mom and pop location near you by using our cards, since we like to use mom and pop stores. And parents that own businesses, we put them on our card. It's free advertising. We've never charged for advertising on our discount cards. So you get free advertising, you get the mom and pop, you get the locals, and you get to raise money and keep it in your community. So do you have a... Uh kind of a radius as far as the ability to do business? Or do you guys work with schools all over the place? We are a national company. Granted, most of our business is done here in Southern California because that's where we are and we are well known. But we are national and we can go just about anywhere you, re you request. We have a wish list that we send to the schools, they fill it out with the places they'd like. We go out and we do all of the hard work for you. We get all the discounts, we put them on the card. You choose the artwork you want on the card. Every card is different and custom and no two cards are alike. Wow. So yeah. you've got you you've got to have a pretty good sized team to help you with all that, huh? I, I do. I've got a great crew that helps me out. We're very busy. So how does that whole process work? Give, give us a feel for, okay, uh, let's say I'm, I'm here in Texas. 
So let's say here, one of the schools here in my local area in Central Texas wants to work with you guys. What, how does that whole process work? Um, you know, from them reaching out to you, what kind of timeline is normally associated with that and that type of thing? What we do is we start to find out, well, what's your fundraising goal this year? And how can we best suit that? How many children are in your school? Uh, get, an air, get an idea of the area of the location of the school. Um, if it's pretty rural, if it's very city, suburb. Uh, talk to the PTO chair. Find out if they've got parents that own businesses. What are the businesses you most frequent? We recommend anywhere from 13 to 15 vendors on the back of each card. Each discount card is good for one year. You can use each discount card every single day of every, every business, every day for a year. It's not one and done. You don't have to carry a coupon book. You don't have to pull out anything. We customize it. We send the school a wish list. They fill out the wish list of the businesses they would like uh, possibly on their card. We ask for 30 to 40 because there are some that won't do the free advertising. We give them the list that is complete. They pick from that list of who they'd like on there. We print it up and we ship it out. Every card, no matter what you do, is $3. And we recommend that you sell them for 10, but there are areas around the country that sell them for as high as $25. So the minimum you're going is a 70% profit with our fundraiser. So what kind of timeline is this, you know, say somebody, somebody gets you their wish list. What, what we, realistically does it take as far as, you know, we talk in a month, couple of months. We're to talking four the, to six weeks from the time the uh, wish list is handed to us to the time the cards are printed in their hands, ready to go. Wow. That's awesome. So we have a pretty good team. We are very quick. We get out there, we hit the ground running, and we just don't stop until it's done. Do you have a recommended kind of cross-section of different types of businesses in the local area so that, you know, it maximizes the value for the customers? Absolutely. We always recommend that you get a nail salon because the women love to be pampered and have their nails done. We recommend a car wash because the men like to get the car washed and not have to do it at home. If you have a local gardener or landscaper, we recommend that as well as a dry cleaner. And then we just go for pizza, sandwiches, uh, any kind of fast food, ice cream, places that you might go after a long day at school to just relax, uh, frozen yogurt, things like that. Uh, also hit the businesses that already participate with the school that do like a dine-in, dine-out night. Uh, we work with those businesses. Um, the cards are not be able to use that night at a dine-out because then the school's not making as much money. But it, it's another way to get people in there when it's not a dine-out night. So my guess is that businesses in most cases are pretty excited to have an opportunity to be associated with a local school and to have essentially a free way to get the word out about what they're doing. Absolutely. In my uh, 14 years of doing this, we have had four businesses, only four, say, no, we're not interested in free advertising. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time trying to talk you into free advertising. But, you know, this is for a good cause. And if you don't need the business, that's fine. We're not going to pressure you. Right. So do they just basically show the card? Um, they're not swiping or any, any yeah. of that. It's just, it's just showing the card. Showing the discount card. What's, what's a, all the, go ahead. What's a typical discount for, you know, for a lot of, I know that, I know the business has the de ult ultimate decision. Correct. Um, we like to get the bigger the discount, the better. But when a company says, oh, sure, we'll do buy one, get one free. On our end of it, we try to talk them out of it. Because if we print 10,000 cards, we tell them this potential to be used by 10,000 people every day for a year. Can your company sustain that discount? And they think back and go, really, we can't. We would 
close the doors. That's not what we want. We want it to be a discount between 10 and 25% off and get the people in the door and think, I'd rather go here over this place because I can help the school and I can get a discount at the same time. So we have talked a couple businesses out of doing very large discounts. Oh, that's awesome. That's really, really cool. So what, uh, who's the ideal client or, or the ideal organization to work with you guys? Are there, are there certain areas, certain demographics, certain school sizes? Uh, we do have a 250 card minimum. So you're going to want a school that has at least 300 children in the entire school. Uh, we do it for uh, promotionals for trips. Uh, we, my son's fourth grade went to Catalina. They sold the cards, raised money for that. We do it for the eighth grade trips where kids can just buy five or 10 cards, raise some money, take that burden off of their parents. Uh, we do it for a lot of band um, people that need the equipment, people that travel for their band. Uh, basically, it's just for anybody that needs the funds and minimum 250 cards. So it's pretty simple that way. So are people taking pre-orders or, or do they order a minimum and then if they need more, they call you back and you print more or, you know, how does that work? Uh, it's 250 minimum, and then if they decide they need 10 more, I ship them 10. If they need 5,000 more, we ship them 5,000. There is no uh, minimum for additional cards after your 250. The cards are non-refundable to me, so you have to keep what you don't sell. Uh, but there are no minimum reorders, the, the timeline four to six weeks. And like I said, it's completely customizable. So if you're in an affluent area and you want to sell them for $20, sell them for $20. Your profit just went up. There is no restriction on our cards when it comes to the customization. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Yeah, that's why we're completely customizable. You will never see two cards alike. We do have pre-printed cards that we use for some that, uh, say, a soccer team needs to raise some money for equipment. So the, the, the manager comes and says, can we just get 100 pre-printed cards? It's a generic front, and it's got uh, discounts on the back. They go out, they sell them, and boom, they've easily raised the money for the equipment they need. That's not common because we don't, we don't uh, go to all the areas everywhere in the U.S. to have this card. So that is certain areas, mostly at Southern California right now. Uh, we do have a couple over in Florida, but that's not a common commonality for us. Do you have the ability uh, to add some national players to the mix as well, or do you purely focus on the local? And if there's a we, local McDonald's, as an example, you actually reach out to them. We do talk both. To, gotcha. We do both. Uh, the generic card that we have has like McDonald's, Jersey Mike's. Uh, let's see. Uh, a few other places that, that are, but because they are all individual franchises, we do reach out to every single McDonald's that is in the area surrounding where those cards will be sold to get them on board. And if they aren't, then we will let them know ahead of time. Um, and some companies are like, this is the best thing since the napkin. Let's, I want to be on any and every card. Do you have any samples that you can show us, those folks that are on video at all? I do. I do. Let me figure out how to do this for you. Um, here is one. Let's see. How's this best going to work? There you go. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So this is Aviara Oaks Middle School. That's their logo. And then on the back, it's very difficult to see. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Let's see. There we go. Um, but we do sports teams. We have a generic card here. Um, soccer. 
And then all the discounts that are on the back are individual for uh, what they have picked. So here's a larger size of one that you can see. This one right here is actually the sports team that went. That's my you, younger son's team that went. Can you scoot it down a little bit or, or scoot the pit, the card up or your camera down? There you go. Can you show us the back of one? Yes. Awesome. How's that? And how many discounts, uh, what did you say, between 12 and 15, 13 15, and 15? Something like yeah, 13 to 15. Some have 19 or 20. Uh, it just all depends on how small you'd like the printing. If you want the printing really small and people to have a hard time reading it, then we'll do 19 on there because you can't make a decision. You don't know who to cut, basically, from the card. But if you don't want to have to have your, your readers on to figure it out, then 13 to 15 is a good number. Unfortunately with me, uh, I would need to have my readers on regardless. <laughs> you and I are the same. Same boat. <laughs> yes. So Don, um, what are some other things that kind of set you guys apart? You're not the only ones in this space. Correct. Um, so what are some of the things that, you know, if people have come across somebody else that, that kind of sort of does what you do, what, what, what makes custom card promotion special and, and why should they reach out to you guys? Well, I kind of like to think that, that we were started because of a necessity. We know what people want. We know what people need. We are here to listen to their comments, concerns, questions. Uh, we are not going to make you use a certain company with a discount, especially if you don't feel you're going to use it. If you don't want a certain company, we're not going to pressure you to have them on your card. Uh, we will recommend, but we are never going to state anything that you must do. So it is 100% uh, personalized. No two cards will be the same. With schools that we do over and over, and we've been doing them for eight, nine, 10 years in a row, their card seems to look the same every year. They just change the background color. But once you get doing this two, three years, you have parents that are saying, when's the next card coming out? My card's about to expire, and I go to these places all the time. I want that discount. Um, we have not found another company out um, on the grand web anywhere that uh, can compete with our profit margin with the 70% and that's the minimum. So if you sell it for more than $10, your profit margin goes up. We do have a very small minimum order and they are full color front. And if you'd like it, we can do full color on the back. That's awesome. Yeah, I love the customization. Um, you know, most fundraisers, you know, you're looking at, uh, you know, 40, maybe 50%. So, Correct. you know, to have 70 is huge. And um, once again, to have it compact to be able to put in your purse or your wallet, uh, you know, is, is, I think, another big, big thing for sure. That's, that's what we like about it. And like my husband said, he's not embarrassed to use a coupon anymore because it looks like a credit card. So if you're pulling something out and you're getting a really good discount, but it looks like a credit card, you're not looking like somebody who's cheap. Um, and my husband does not like to use coupons. I will have him go to the store and use coupons and he won't take them in. So I just won't. But if it's on a card, it looks like you're paying with a credit card. You're proud. If you uh, do it for a sport team and you've got the kids on there, the grandparents are going to want one. So you're making more money that way without them even using the discounts, but they want something with their grandkids on there. So there's different ways around it. We do summer cards for people that like to travel. We are working right now on a golf card for golf courses discounts. So we kind of hit the realm of everything as opposed to just one type of card. Very cool. Don Norby, what is the best way for folks to reach out to you guys if they want to learn more about custom card promotions? You can find us on the World Wide Web at www.customcardpromotions.com. 
you can call me at 760-505-4155, or you can send us a quick email at thecustomcardpro at gmail.com. Any parting thoughts for folks uh, in our audience? If you're done and you've had enough of all of the tchotchkes, give us a call. We'll give you a phenomenal fundraiser that will meet and exceed all of your goals for fundraising money. Guys, chance. what's really, really cool is um, this has obviously been a company that is built, was built initially out of necessity, but was built from the very beginning listening to uh, the parents and to the organizations um, and to the businesses where the discounts come from to, to put together a win, win, win situation for everybody involved. And so Dawn, I'm really, really appreciative of you taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, step into the school zone, uh, to educate everybody on what you guys are doing and to show them yet another way where they can, um, where they can do something different and something that has even more value um, for the community and for the school and the parents that, uh, that are obviously going to use those cards. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. School zone audience. There is yet another amazing company with custom card promotions. For those of you that um, have not had a chance to stop by schoolzonepodcast.com and check out uh, the latest there, um, I encourage you to do so. We still have uh, access to our free 27, uh, excuse me, 2017 10 Top School Fundraising Ideas Guide um, for you to check out some, some other really neat opportunities and some cool resource companies that are doing work in the school space, assemblies, that type of thing. We are putting together the 2018 guide as we speak, and that'll be uh, ready early in 2018. But go to schoolzonepodcast.com to get more information on Dawn and her company um, and tons of other information um, and insights to make your job easier and to help you simplify your search as you're raising money for your school.